Hi there! As I am a woman of my word, I've made this video to help you master the expression of wishes and regrets with your structures, I wish, if only. There are mainly three situations in which we use I wish if only to express wishes and regrets. And I'll say both can be used interchangeably. Let's take a look at them together. When we're talking about a present situation and we'd like it to be different, we use I wish if only, subject, past simple. In The Little Mermaid, Ariel says, I wish I could be part of that world. She'd like things to be different. She'd like to be human and to live out of the sea. Also in Frozen, Prince Hans, spoiler alert, in the famous betrayal scene, tells Anna, obviously being sarcastic. Oh, Anna, if only there was someone out there who loved you. If, however, we're talking about something that happened in the past, and we regret it, or would like it to have been different, then we use I wish if only, subject, past, perfect. Imagine that you start watching a TV show in the evening and you get so hooked that you stay up all night and you binge watch the whole first season. The following morning, you've got a math test and you're so tired that you can't concentrate. So you think, if only I had gone to bed a bit earlier. Finally, there's the third case in which we complain about a situation that is annoying. Normally when somebody's doing something that's bothering us and obviously we'd like them to stop doing it or to do it differently. As in Frozen, when Anna tells Elsa, we used to be best buddies, but now we're not. I wish you would tell me why. Anna's tired of knocking on the door and getting no answer from Elsa, and she's a bit annoyed. In this case, the structure we use is I wish if only, subject, would, very infinitive. Here you often see I wish somebody would stop doing something with stuff followed by ing, as when something is bothering you, you usually wish for it to stop happening. So now that we are done with the three structures that I wanted to teach you, how about checking what you've learned so far? Imagine you're doing an English test at school and the classmate sitting next to you is clicking his pen non-stop. It is impossible for you to concentrate, so you say, Exactly, my everyday team, yes. If only you would stop clicking your pen. Now imagine that you live in Murcia and your boyfriend or girlfriend lives in Alcantarilla, where you cannot go because of COVID-19 restrictions. And you want to be with them right now, but you can't. So if I could hear you think, this is what you'd say. Again, you did it. I wish he or she didn't live in Alcantarilla. Now imagine that you've got a history exam and you're sorting up the night before, but you decide not to revise unit six because you're too tired or because you don't have time or because basically you can't be bothered. But oh, you're so down on your luck and when you see the test, most of the questions are about that unit. So you think. Yay, you said it. I bet you can relate to this one, right? 
I wish I had revised unit six. Regrets and more regrets, but there is no use crying over spilled milk. So that was it for wishes and regrets. Stay tuned for the next video in which I'll tell you how to use other linkers for conditional sentences apart from if. Oh, I miss my perlitis so badly. If only I could squeeze them and hug them right now. <laughs>